Hey everybody, I'm Mama Bird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be making up some easy instant oatmeal packets. I don't know about you guys, but these little things are super convenient. I have myself an electric kettle, just one I picked up used at Goodwill, and I love just turning that thing on, letting the water come to boil, pour it in the bowl with the oatmeal, and then wait five minutes, bam, you got some tasty oatmeal, and it's something super fast, super easy that you can do for your kids, husband, whoever it is that you need to be feeding quickly. Now, the problem with these is that one, it's a lot of waste. Two, it's a lot of hidden ingredients that you don't necessarily want in your food. And three, they cost a lot more than if you were to just make them yourself. So let's get in here and I'll show you some instant oatmeal packets you can make at home that your kids are gonna love. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, product reviews, and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join me in the kitchen. All right guys, let's make some packets. So for the ingredients, you need some quick oatmeal, not the old fat oats. If you see the difference, you can kind of tell the difference of oats. These are the old-fashioned oats. These need to be rehydrated and cooked some, whereas the quick oats, you can just add hot water. So it helps to be able to identify the different looks of an oat and know what each one is good for. What oat is it good for? This is for oatmeal. Mm, say it again. All right, so I got some powdered sugar. No, not powdered sugar. I have some powdered milk here that expiration date was April of 2021. So this is two years past, which it's still good, but I need to start focusing on using this up. So I'm going to have powdered milk added to this. Then we're using some of my homemade brown sugar. And then for fixings, I have mini chocolate chips. We're gonna add some cinnamon. We're gonna add some raisins. And then I have some dried blueberries I thought would be good with chopped up white chocolate and have like a blueberry cream one. So we're gonna give that a try as well. So let's get in here and let's get started. So we're gonna need a total of 10 cups of oats. Four of them are going to be blended in a blender. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. This is what makes that powdery part of the oatmeal and it'll help thicken it up as having pureed blitzed oat flour. You could also get out oat flour for this if you don't have oatmeal. This Vitamix I got from my aunt as a housewarming gift. She asked me what I wanted and I said this and she gave it to me. She's so sweet. I love it so much. So we're just gonna blend it up. So it's a powder. All right, so our four cups into our bowl. And now we're gonna measure out six cups of just loose oats. Yeah, six cups. To our 10 cup of oats, we're gonna add one cup of powdered milk, one cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add some salt. That's gonna help cut some of that sweetness and just help bring everything together. And this is your base mix. This is all you need. And then you can add what other kind of fixings you want. You didn't have to add the cinnamon if you don't like cinnamon. Ooh, you know what else I have I'm gonna add? I have some ground vanilla that would go really well in this. I will leave this linked below if you're interested in this. About one teaspoon equals one teaspoon of extract. I got this at a local store, but I did find it on Amazon last time I looked. Oh, that smells so good. Brown sugar, vanilla, instant oatmeal. Yes, please. get in here and get some of my lumps of brown sugar out. This is homemade brown sugar I made myself with just molasses and regular sugar. That's all you need to make your own homemade brown sugar. If you want it darker, you add more molasses. You want it lighter, you add less. And then you can make as much as you need. I got my kettle out from its spot in the closet. All right, let's get that heating up. I'm gonna try some of this for breakfast. So, whoa, that's a lot. 
Probably half a cup portions, yeah? Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's probably, what, two packs worth, I would say. All right, so let's put that aside. Now, while that's heating up, I have some snack size bags here. This is what I'm going to use. What the? Dang it. I have such horrible love with Ziplocs. I don't really use Ziplocs that much. And these are definitely going to be reusable after this. So I think it looks pretty good. So just half a cup portions. Pretty good to me. All right, let me get some of these portioned out. So there's two, four, six. We'll add the blueberries too. Let's do pretty good. So that was half the bag. I still got some left over if they end up liking it and I need to make some more. And then this is just white chocolate chunks I need to use up. Do you think six portions? So we'll do six little cubes of chocolate. Oh, that's too much. What a shame. Oh, um, no white chocolate. It's not really chocolate. Kind of interesting. All right, let's get this chalked up. Just in chunks. You could do chocolate or white chips too if you have baking chips. That would work. I just happen to have these bars that I need to get used up. Yeah, blueberry white chocolate. That's pretty good. The head of my R2D2 is half a cup, so we'll just use him. I guess I could label these, but I also want them to be reusable, so if I label them, then they might. So I'm going to add the last of this. Add the last of us. Man, that one didn't have very many blueberries. Let's add a few more blueberries to that one. <laughs> hey, what about me, man? I got left out. There we go. All right, our water's still boiling. We got all that done before our water's done. So I'm just going to roll this up, try and get as much air out as possible. There's our oatmeal. All right, so we got two, four, six, seven blueberry and cream. All right, where we're waiting for the water still. See, you can have all this portioned by the time you're even ready to start and if you had it full like you're feeding everybody you'd be waiting for the water to boil still i've seen those bottleneck kettles have you guys seen those those look pretty cool all right so i'm just bagging up some of the regular and i'm probably going to put some raisins in some and then some chocolate chips in the other a good thing about this you can just get it done get it mixed up and then get a bunch set like you could make a whole bunch of these get yourself set up for a couple of months worth like through the summer so you don't have to worry about it you have a good variety if you're going to be going camping shoot sometimes i'll make oatmeal for dinner <laughs> i'm like you know what let's just have some oatmeal everybody's okay <laughs> and the water's done good. I don't really measure. I just like it till it's kind of soupy there. And then I'll put something over it just so it can steam. There we go. We'll just let that cook for a couple minutes. All right, so for half of these, I'm gonna make raisin. I'm just gonna add like a tablespoon of dried raisins to them. Any dried fruit would be good. I need to make some dried apples so I can do my own apple one. Oh, you know, I do have some powdered butter. I bet that would be good in here too. Then you don't even have to worry about adding butter. Okay, so we'll do half of them. 
raisin, and the other half chocolate chip. I guess I could have had a plain one. Oh well. <laughs> well, my kids will like them flavored. Look at that. It's pretty creamy. Let's give it a try. Alright, let's give our oatmeal a try. Mmm. Wow. It needs to soak a little more just to absorb some more of that, but that's good. The creaminess from the powdered milk. You can see the creaminess from it. I like it with the cinnamon in there. I might do a little more sugar just because I like the sweeter. But having the raisins in there would help, the chocolate chips, the blueberries, so the base probably doesn't need more sweetener um, if you're adding sweet stuff to it. Dollop of honey, ooh, and a blop of butter. Mm. All right. So all we have to do is finish these up. I mean, that's pretty good. I think it's gonna go great with the chocolate chips. I'm gonna be making these for the kids. I do usually have videos coming out that's about what I feed my kids, lunches, breakfasts, things like that. So you will see these in there on what they look like once they're in action. I'll make sure to get some of the kids' reactions as well, because you know them kids don't lie. Unless it's to mama. Why kids always be lying to mama? Why? So tell me, why have this when you can have this? Now you know how easy it is to make your own instant oatmeal packets, and I hope you do the same for your kids. Tell me your favorite oatmeal combination. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds. Um.